Devgiri CMI Public School has gone a long way since its inception in 2005. The Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, popularly known as CMI, has built a strong educational foundation upon the hills of Devgiri and has allowed children to break out of their shells and explore themselves and test their potentials with the hope of a bright future. Devagiri CMI Public School has been standing tall and strong for 12 years now and once again it gazes back at a year almost coming to a close. The major school events, celebrations and festivals. After a long summer break, once again the school opened its gates to eager students coming from all directions. They gathered on the occasion of Praveshanotsav to launch another year of fun-filled school events on 1st, 5th and 8th of June. The school secured 10% in both the AISSC and AISSCE 2017. The toppers of the AISSC and AISSCE 2017 were invited to be officially felicitated for their exemplary performance by three powerful and inspiring people. Sri Thotatil Ravindran, the Honourable Mayor, Sri C. Radhakrishnan, writer, physicist and researcher, and Sri N. E. Balakrishnan Marad, publisher and founder of TBS. A book entitled Poems from My Heart by Achut Vinish of Class 7 was released on the occasion. On 1st July, the school conducted the investiture ceremony in the school auditorium. The chief guest of the day was Dr. K. S. Radhakrishnan, writer, orator, academician and philosopher and former chairman of PSC. On 15th August, the school community celebrated Independence Day 2017 with Major Dr. Tirthankar Das Gupta, Recruitment Medical Officer, as chief guest of the day. The kindergarten had its Independence Day celebrations on 11th August with Reverend Father Johnny Matthew CMI, Councillor for Education, St. Thomas Province. The Principal's Day was celebrated on 29th August. It was a blessed birthday for Father Johnny Kanyanathingal, CMI. The day was just as sweet as the birthday song, cards, flowers and the birthday cake. Ona Puvili was conducted on 31st August with Mr. Narmal Palari, film actor and comedy artist, as the chief guest and Ms. Nitya Das, cine artist, as the guest of honour. Reverend Father Chako Illiparambil, CMI, manager, Devgiri Institutions, also joined the community in the celebration. On 23rd September, the school celebrated Teacher's Day with all-inspiring Assistant Police Commissioner of Calicut, Ms. Merin Joseph, IPS, who gave the inaugural speech. The school celebrated Children's Day on 14th November with eminent chief guest Master Gaurav Menon, Malayalam child artist who led the auspicious lighting of the lamp and delivered the inaugural address. Christmas celebration was on 22nd December with Chief Guest Rev. Father Thomas Stekel, CMI, Provincial, St. Thomas Province, who graced the occasion and gave the Christmas message. Students shared cakes and sang Christmas carols. Students had the Christmas visit to different charity homes in the city on 23rd December. The students donated home items and cash. Sacks of rice were bought and given to the charity homes they visited. Co-curricular activities The school makes sure that students involve themselves in co-curricular activities. These activities are learning experiences outside the confines of a classroom. We have the girls' school band, roller skating, chess, art and craft, classical and western music, classical dance, karate and kalari paita. Students also undergo physical training in sports. The school annual sports meet was conducted on 28th October. Sri P. K. Raju, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Traffic North, Corricode, 
was the chief guest of the day. The tiny tots of kindergarten had their own sports day on 30th October. Winners of the school annual sports meet participated in the Malabar Sahodia Athletics Championship conducted on 7th and 8th of December and came out victorious and secured the overall championship once again. For the very first time, the school basketball team won the championship in the Sahodia Basketball Tournament for the Under-17. The school also won in the District Taekwondo Championship as well as in the Malabar Sahodia Badminton Doubles Championship for Under-16. Our students also won in the Kerala State Rollball Open Championship. Our school chess masters secured the runner-up position in the third All Kerala Inter-School Team Chess Championship 2017. There are also individual achievers who gave glory to the school in the field of sports, science and arts both on state and national levels. Tejas Rajesh of Class 6 and Akil Roshan of Class 7 won gold medals. Abhishek A. Menon of Class 5 and Alvin John of Class 9 won silver medals and Pratyush Gopinath of Class 4 and Asad Kammapa Kalladi of Class 9 won bronze in the 35th Budokan Karate Do India National Karate Championship. Nivedita Aris of Class 4, Muhammad Ziyan and Vishnu Vardhan KG of Class 8 also won gold medals in the 12th Kerala State Taekwondo Championship. Kiran Manoj of Class 10 received the Bright Spot Excellence Award for being the topper in South India, conducted by Vikram Sara by Science Initiative. Vasudevan Deepak of Class 7 won the silver medal in the South Zone Shooting Championship. Our songbird Shreya Jaydeep, now in Class 7, has continued to sing in films this year and has won many awards, one of which is most honourable, the Youngest Nightingale Award from the British Parliament. Our robotic team qualified for the international robotics competitions in the United States. Students have also shown their caliber on different levels of Kalolsavams. Day Votsav 2017, the school's annual youth festival was held on 4th and 5th of August. The inaugural function, conducted on 3rd August, was graced by Sri Subhash Chandran, novelist and chief sub editor. Matrabhumi. The children had proven their mettle when the school backed the overall championship in the Sahodia CBSE Koriko District Kalotsav 2017. And finally, with sheer hard work and pure talent, the children powerfully rose to the occasion and secured for the school the aggregate championship in the Sahodia CBSE Kerala State Kalotsav 2017. Group items such as band display, kolkali and one-act play got the first place. As for individual items, Kumari Devika Govind of Class 6 won first place in English recitation. Winning in the Sahodia CBSE Kerala State Kalolsav 2017 was such a great milestone for the school this year. The Kids Fest was conducted in October. With much excitement, the kindergarten backed the overall championship trophy in the Sahodia Kids Fest 2017 in December. There were also non-competitive activities that were spread throughout the year that children had greatly benefited from. One of the highlights of the year was Tanmai, a four-day residential camp for the incoming students of Class 10 conducted in May 2017 at Morning Star Higher Secondary School, Gudalur. Reading Day was on 19th June and was launched with a book fair at the Chavra Hall. Fever Awareness was conducted on 30th June by Dr. Rakesh, Dr. Ajita PM and Dr. Reshma of the Indian Medical Association. Orientation and career guidance sessions were conducted for the classes 11 and 12 by Mr. Hemapalan, Mr. M. S. Jalil and by Professor Dr. Sanatharan. There were puberty classes for students of class 6 to 8 handled by Dr. Santosh Kuriakos and Dr. Smita Dikot. 
first standard to fourth standard students were able to showcase their potentials in the Talent Fest, a new program introduced this year. The school staff also attended orientations and seminars. They had sessions in May facilitated by Professor Jaikar Chellaraj, international trainer and writer, and by Dr. Jesudas Jaipal, Loyola College, respectively. An enrichment session for teachers on the new system of evaluation was conducted by Dr. Dinesh Babu, CBSE Master Trainer. Advocate CM Pradeep Kumar spoke to teachers about child abuse and POSCO. This year, students were asked to come up with their own class magazine in order to give them the chance to submit drawings and articles in any of the three languages. The first meeting of the PTA executive was held on 27th July where the office bearers were officially introduced. Mr. N. Rajesh, President and Dr. Rajesh P. Purapuri, Vice President. To wrap it up, all the school events and activities conducted this year were in the view of a wonderful future envisioned by our Lord Star, St. Kuriakos Elias Chavara, whose feast we celebrated on 3rd January. All the teaching and non-teaching staff, PTA executive and parents have moved together as one community, a family with one spirit to lift our students to the highest peak of scholastic and co-scholastic excellence. All for the greater glory of God Almighty and for our country. Pro Dio e Patria.